On May 17th, 2009, programmer Marcus Person, better known by his internet alias Notch, independently released the alpha version of his new game on the PC. Originally referred to as The Cave Game, he would later title the final project Minecraft. Met with a huge burst of popularity, Minecraft was a fairly unconventional game, while ultimately remaining fairly simple. Taking inspiration from other titles such as Infiniminer, Dungeon Keeper, and Dwarf Fortress, it emphasized both survival aspects and creativity. Every new map was randomly generated from a level seed, making it so no two experiences would ever be the same. Upon its release, the game didn't have any sort of story, something which many would both praise and criticize it for. Rather, Minecraft allows the player to create their own goals, whether it be exploring and gathering resources or building their own grandiose structures. This simplicity was also carried over in the general aesthetic of the game as well. With basic graphics, gameplay, and controls, Minecraft was able to appeal to an audience of all ages. Much of the game's success stemmed from the surge of Let's Plays that emerged following its release. Intrigued with what they saw, many purchased the game for themselves and created their own videos, pushing the game to a state of virality, with Minecraft almost dominating the gaming section of YouTube. Initially only released for the PC, Minecraft's success led it to be picked up by Microsoft and Sony to be ported to the Xbox and PlayStation consoles respectively. However, many fans would likely consider the PC version to be the definitive one, with its exclusive support for many mods, custom texture packs, and being the most up-to-date version of the game. Multiplayer is also one of the main appeals of the game, with factions, user-made minigames, and adventure maps. The ability to create and share your own custom map with your friends became one of the sole reasons people purchased the game, and continue to play it today. Almost three years later, the full version of the game was released, and Jens Bergenston, better known as Jeb, replaced Notch and took complete creative control of the game. From its initial release to now, Minecraft has almost created its own subculture, with merchandise spin-off titles, books, and conventions not only based on the game, but the communities formed around it. As it continues to be updated, it's more than safe to say that Minecraft is a landmark title and still sells thousands of copies every single day. Well, that's all for this episode, but come back again next time and we'll see you all again on another day in gaming history. And if you like the sound of my voice and you want to see some more videos by me, you can go ahead and click this video right here for the top 10 games for the end of the world, which coincidentally has some Minecraft in it. Spoilers, sorry.